I selected to talk to you about geodesy for climate research because this is the activities nowadays that attract more scientists in order to understand, uh, understand uh, the climate change. The increase of geodetic data record, like using satellite GNSS, uh, global navigation satellite system data, satellite radio, uh, radio occultation, reflectometry, gravimetry, and altimetry provide a huge quantity of geodetic data that give us a quantitative view of what we call climate variables like for instance water vapor, thermospheric density, hydrology which means the uh, terrestrial water storage. It gives us indication about ice sheets, glacier, uh, glacier in the mountains, but also sea level rise, sea surface winds, etc. So the radio occultation for instance, is, it is a satellite sensing, te sensing technique that uh, contribute to weather, weather forecasting and atmospheric processes. It contributes to climate monitoring with model verifications and it also contributes to the research related to space weather and ions, ionospheric research. I also selected to talk about marine geodesy because you know a submarine or undersea or underwater earthquake is an earthquake that occurs underwater, at the bottom of the body of the water, the seafloor, especially an ocean. They are the cause of tsunamis. And uh, understanding plate tectonics helps to explain the cause of submarine earthquakes. So imagine a platform, moving platform like a ship on the water where you have instrument uh, for GPS, uh, GNSS for instance, and also instrument for acoustic. Uh, and we, with doing so, we can actually follow the deformation of the seafloor, especially near subduction zones where you have the cause of uh, major earthquakes and tsunami. So marine geodesy is uh, becoming uh, an interesting science from IAG and we are developing uh, more activities in that domain.